Awesome, I think we're on. Hi, I'm Krista Curley of Illuminate Your Life, um, and I'm a faith healing instructor and teacher, and I'm here with my friend. Hey, I'm Casey Campbell, and I'm a theta healing teacher and practitioner as well of Today is Magical. Awesome, and we're here to kind of give you a quick glimpse of theta healing, kind of theta healing in a minute or two, just to really get a sense of what you can do when you clear a limiting belief. So we're going to work with Casey today. I'm going to be the practitioner and she's going to act as my client and we're going to help her with an issue. So what do you want to work on today, Case? I would love to work on um, happiness. So consistent happiness. I sometimes feel like it's one extreme or the other and not a lot of middle ground. Absolutely. So more consistent. Okay. And, <laughs> and what's coming in right off the bat is a lot of times when we flip, if we're in a place of happiness and we flip out of it, mm -hmm. there's a belief in there that, you know, we can only be so happy. And so we actually create situations of trauma and drama or um, situations in our lives to pull us out of it, right? Because there'll be a belief in there that tells us we can only have it for so long or we're not allowed or whatever that is. So why don't we just go in quickly um, and check and see what that bottom belief is for you that's preventing you from maintaining happiness. Because I think that's an awesome uh, thing that most of us have experienced. We've been like really, really, really high and then suddenly something happens and it pulls us out of that and it's just like, ugh, really? <laughs> so, okay, awesome, I love it, let's do that. So we'll just quickly connect in. So we're just connecting into this all that is energy. I'm gonna ask for some, 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 some guidance uh, connecting into my intuition to see what that bottom belief is. We'll have Casey test it and go from there. Sure. Good? Sounds great. Okay. okay, so can you muscle test for me? I'm getting happiness is fleeting. And it actually feels like a genetic belief. So it feels like it's coming through from your ancestors. Sure. So if you want to just test for me, happiness is fleeting on the genetic level. You can try it on both, but happiness is fleeting. Um, happiness is fleeting on the genetic level, yes. Yes. And you want to just try it, happiness is fleeting? Happiness is fleeting, yes. Okay. So she believes that her ancestors have brought that through her DNA, and she also believes that for herself in this time and place. Okay, so when do you think, I want you just to connect in and when would that have started? When did you take that on? Obviously genetically, but in this time and place, when did you learn that happiness is for Nick? I feel like I've always had it. It just feels like the opposite is more comfortable for me, you know? Okay. Yeah. So what do you get out of um, that comfort of the opposite of, of not staying in that happy place? Um, then I'm not surprised if something takes me out of the happiness. If I'm not happy, then I can't be taken out of happiness. <laughs> okay. Okay. So what, what happens when you're taken out of happiness? What, what's the thing that you're afraid of or not wanting to have happen? It's the worst thing. Yeah, I guess I fear losing happiness because, you know, in a way, like it's better to have not had it than to lose it. It's kind of like that. Yes. And that's common. There's even a phrase that we say it's better to have loved and lost than never to have loved. Right. But there's sort of that same concept in the collective consciousness mm -hmm. around, you know, just don't have expectations and then you can't be disappointed. So any, anything that's in the collective consciousness around happiness, around only having so much um, that we've taken on from society, from the media, anything, can we just start with releasing that off? Yes. And what is the worst thing what, that can happen if you have happiness and you lose it? For you. Then I could always be sad or depressed. Okay, and what happens if you're always sad and depressed? Um, well, that wouldn't be the greatest life. It would feel like life wasn't worth living if I never had happiness. Absolutely. And if you're living a life that isn't worth living, what happens then? 
Mm. Then it's just existing. It's not really living. So it's okay. Awake. Okay, so why don't we try that? Um, I want you to muscle test. I can exist and be happy. Let's just test and see if you can have both. I can exist and be happy. No. Okay, so would you like to know what it would feel like to be able to exist and be happy? And can we give you the highest perspective, understanding, and truth on what existence is? Yes. And give that to your ancestors as well, if they're willing to receive it, so that they know what existence can be with happiness. Yes. And to go even higher, that you can not just exist, because there are lots of times for your ancestors where existence was like the goal. That's what they were striving for. But now, can we show them how to shift out of existence being the goal and into thriving? Yes. And even like more than thriving, like having a euphoric life and having, you know, a lighthearted vibe through your day and that that's possible and that's allowed. Yes. And any way for you or for your ancestors where that felt like too much, like that was just not allowed, it was too much, that's not what existence is, can we just release that up? Yes. Along with all the trauma and drama, um, pain and suffering your ancestors felt around uh, survival and having to just exist and release that up, okay? Yes. And again, we'll just finish by bringing in the highest perspective, understanding, and truth on, on existence from like this highest energy, from the all that is energy that we connect to and that we already are. Can we show them what that would feel like? Yes. And show you as well. And that again, you can exist and be happy, be excited, be joyful, and that you can stay there and that that's allowed. Yes. And for anyone listening into this call, if they'd like those downloads and those clearings, they can just say yes and receive that too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's test that belief quick. Can you try, I can be, I can exist and be happy? I can exist and be happy. Yes. Awesome. Okay, try my ancestors can exist and be happy. My ancestors can exist and be happy. Now. Okay, so let's just see what's left in there. And then can, can you try the original belief? Oh, um, it's bleeding. Happiness is fleeting, thank you. <laughs> happiness is fleeting, no. No, good. And try happiness is fleeting for my ancestors. Happiness is fleeting for my ancestors, no. Okay, so we just have that one little piece that has to shift it for your ancestors. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's see what that might be. I'm just seeing an ancestor who's very um, strong. Yeah. And he's just like, this isn't possible. It's not possible. And okay. So the last piece is we have to figure out how it serves your ancestors. What were they getting out of the unhappiness? And it feels like what I'm getting is that was their motivation. So that was their motivation to strive for more. So can we show your ancestors that time's finished and done? And let's just give them and you the highest perspective, understanding, and truth on motivation and motivation from the highest energy, from that all that is energy, and even more like inspiration. So let's give everyone the highest perspective, understanding, and truth on inspiration and make yours the same and that you can be inspired by your soul's desires and that it's easy and it's effortless. And you don't need unhappiness to motivate you in any way that is finished and done. So we're going to mark that complete for your ancestors and for you. Yes. And that now you guys will function from a place of soul inspiration. <laughs> yes. Oh. All right. And your ancestor likes that. He's good with that. Okay. So I want you to try that now. Um, On the genetic level or my ancestors can exist and be happy. My ancestors can exist and be happy, yes. Amazing. Okay, so can we show you who you are with all of those changes through all times and spaces? And that, yeah, you can be in this world and be happy and stay happy and that's a lot. Yes. Awesome. So that's a really quick demo of how you can change belief systems um, really quickly. And oftentimes working with your ancestors in the genetic level is really potent. So it was kind of cool that that came through to model for everyone. So thanks, Case. Thank you. Thanks. And that for everybody. And um, you can connect with me at KristaHurley.com. And Casey, it's Today is Magical. 
www.ethicalcoachingcenter.com. So if you want to contact either one of us for a session or if you have questions um, and there's many more videos to come. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. That was amazing. Awesome. Bye. Bye.